we've gone into socially distancing this household. So that means um, where it's, which has been very hard for Woody. There's kids out on the street and he just can't understand why he can't play with them. If we're all just moving around and all um, <clears throat> infecting one another, it's going to put a huge amount of pressure on the medical um, services very quickly. It's probably true we're all going to be have coronavirus if we don't have it already. Um, but by socially distancing, um, there is an argument that you can mitigate the intense um, amount of cases uh, which will stretch medical equipment resources and also health workers. That we're not contributing to an aggregating or, or very intense um, outbreak. So that's the, the kind of rationale between, uh, but for us to socially distance. Um, we're not entirely prepared. There are still, you know, it, well, we're not entirely prepared for months and months of this. Um, but we have no idea where we're going to be, even in the next few days. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's an interesting feeling to have been living in preparation for the next season and to put stores away, to have your activities so you can, with lots of time inside over winter when the garden is dormant, we recently were given a sewing machine. So just things, it just feels like an interesting um, test of everything that we've put in place. And I feel very prepared, but I feel very unprepared. Mm. And as you say, we don't know how long this is gonna go on for. So, you know, we have enough stores for how long? I don't, mm. you know, we don't know. We're gonna have to start rationing. We're going to go out less, so we'll be doing less physical work, so we might be able to extend that food. And I'm also... Eat less. Yeah. Mm. Also looking forward to just having quiet time at home, mm. just to cancel all obligations, all commitments, all community events. And that feels really... Mm. Like, very peaceful just to think about just having time at home. Mm. But maybe that's I'm saying that at the beginning. Yeah, it feels exciting to be heading into this unknown and of course scary because it's changing so quickly and we're lucky that we have our parents still alive but they're aging and they're vulnerable. And as are so many of our older friends in the community. Mm. And... I mean, that would be the biggest challenge for us is should people die or should people get very sick um, not being able to attend to to friends um, and to loved ones and to family um, and yeah there's to even attend funerals um, if, if it gets to that so um, yeah there there is things I'm looking forward to as well, but there are, um, yeah, some pretty hard times ahead of us. Yeah, it's still such an abstract thing. This is based on information that yeah. has come through, you know, through from articles and cross-referencing um, media links and <laughs> articles by scholars and this is still you know this is not how we normally make decisions it's they're, mm -hmm. they're usually rooted in um everyday physical mm -hmm. biological behavioral patterns yeah the, the lessons from history and even the lessons in recent history with what the countries that socially distance very quickly like Taiwan are doing really well mm. and there isn't the chaos in in countries like that so for governments to take um, clear and firm just make clear and firm decisions and request their 
um, people stay at home um, and socially distance. That just seems to me to be a common sense approach. It does. So Woody, Patrick and I are going to sit down this afternoon and write down all the different projects that we would like to work on during this time. So Woody has a bow and arrow that he's made with Patrick, so he's looking forward to hitting the rabbit target ten times in a row. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got some lye, some ash soap that I want to make, mm. and some lots of mending of clothes to, with mm. the sewing machine. Mm. Um, make some more family cloth. Yeah, we don't have an overlock, I don't we could do that by hand. Yeah. Yeah, we can um, do it. Hammer. Play music together. Shell acorns while listening to audio books. A lot of acorns to shell, you that's do. for sure. Yeah, and together. I think that'll be in, important grain yeah. um, over the over the winter. Like it, it normally is, but it's a supplementary one. Whereas I think we'll be foraging much more intently. Yeah, we've got mushroom season coming up. Yeah, and I think it's going to be a good year. Yeah. We've had a reasonably wet yep. summer. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, slow down. Yeah. Is... We do have that book to write as well. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We might finally write our second book together. Yep. Mm.